Oh hey YouTube, it's really good. My name is Vivid, and today we're reacting to another video, and it answers a pretty important question I think we've always had, and that is if you took all the legendary and mythical Pokemon in the you know in the Pokemon universe and you put them in one arena. Uh, who would win? Who would come out on top? I've seen a bunch of other people in the community reacting to this. I think it's a fantastic concept. I'm super excited, but I have a few things I would like to say before we get into it. One, if you are enjoying the content I'm putting out on YouTube, you'll probably also enjoy watching me live on Twitch. It will be the top link in the description down below. Go ahead and follow that. Follow me on Twitch. We've been streaming a lot of VGC content in game. It's been fun. I would love to see you there. Another thing is if you are new here, go ahead and consider clicking that subscribe button. It would mean the absolute most and also a lot of my views are coming from people who aren't subscribed right now. So if that's you, just subscribe. If you don't like me later, you can unsubscribe. And the third thing is this video has a sponsor and it's my wife. <laughs> okay, no, but seriously, I found out recently that my wife, Emily, is kind of a fantastic artist. So I dictated an idea for a shirt design to her and she just brought it to life. It's the shirt I'm wearing right now. It We're calling it Ghosts Want Candy because I couldn't think of a better name. It just depicts a Gengar, a Pumpkaboo, and a Mimikyu all out on Halloween night doing their spooky season best. They're surrounded by rare candies and then the candies from Pokemon. Pokemon Go. I think the design is really cute. I think it's done really well. It will be available on my Teespring account from now until the end of October, so Halloween. Uh, if you are interested in this, please go ahead and grab one. It would mean the absolute most and it would help out the channel a ton. This is the last announcement I want to make before we get into the video and it's really quick, I promise. The team builder for WB that was supposed to go up on Saturday and the actual battle that was supposed to go up on Sunday, those are going to be pushed back. Jack from Nerdout Gaming has just been really busy. He's trying to move houses. I super get it. Moving it can be incredibly stressful, especially during these weeks weird times. So our schedules just didn't line up and we're just going to push it back. I don't want him to drop or I don't want him to have to take unnecessary losses. That's not how I want to get my wins. I actually just want to crush Jack. So those videos are going to be uploaded later. We don't know the specifics yet, uh, but just know they're coming. Okay. All right. So with that out of the way, let's get into this. The legendary and mythical Pokemon Battle Royale animated collab with Lox and Noggin. I actually didn't know that going into this. Uh, it's on Terminal Montage's YouTube channel. I will leave a link in the description down below. If you haven't seen it, I would definitely check out the original video. I'm going to be watching it fresh. I haven't seen it yet. I'm super duper excited. Uh, but yeah, it has 31 million views. So absolutely a banger of a video. I have very high expectations. Let's get into this. Let's go. Press play. Get it. Terminal montage. Also remember, definitely go support. Legendary Mythical Pokemon Battle Royale. I'm okay. I'm into it already. Okay. We're in like a simulation. Yes. No. Yeah. Okay. The Ultra Balls are falling. They're all Ultra Balls because they're all legendary and mythicals. Should have been like a few in Dusk Balls, right? Like Dusk Balls would have made sense. Pikachu just not made for the sky. Okay, Deoxys Mew. Okay, really quick. If I had to guess, like this is all the legendary and mythical Pokemon, right? Like if I had to guess which Pokemon are sort of like the strongest within the Pokemon universe based on lore, because I'm assuming that's what this is based off of. It's not going to be based on in-game stats. I would say... Mega Rayquaza or Rayquaza, however you pronounce it, I don't care. Um, I think ha probably has a shot. Um, Mewtwo is just really strong in the lore. <sighs> There's also just Arceus is very powerful. I don't know if I was if I was a betting person, I would bet Arceus. If I was a hopeful person, I would want Jirachi to win. Okay, moving on. Yeah, All right, ready still, Victini. Okay, Reggie's still just talking. Interesting. Mewtwo, out the gate. Okay. Decimates uh, Heatran. Latios, Latios, Giratina. Genesect's just gotta be super dead, right? Yeah, oh, Giratina just summons black holes. Wait, so does Hoopa. Cosmog's just gonna die, right? Uh, the top it. Oh my god, did Darkrai just infect them? Some of these Pokemon just have no shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? I guess Entei does volcano-y stuff? Oh, that's kind of sad, right? Like, as someone who's played Pokemon since Gen 1, you gotta hope that birds last longer than just getting insta-clapped by Lugia. Oh, this is Lugia. Okay, Lugia summoned like a massive world hurricane, I guess. Uh, Marshadow can't go for long, right? It's kind of a little guy. Who is this? Oh, oh, Mewtwo and Zeraora? Mewtwo's gonna win. Yeah. Oh, Zygarde complete? I forgot about this guy. Did say Hershey? Or Hearsay? There's no way, right? 
There's no way. He just took one. Hoopa. The little trickster guy just took one cell. This, this Zygarde's about to not be strong anymore. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. <laughs> just a bunch of Zydogs. Hoopa's kind of getting it right now. Okay, oh, Ogre, Manaphy. Melmetal shouldn't stand. Oh my god, what's happening? Melmetal shouldn't stand much of a chance, right? Uh, Palkia. Is Hoopa dead? Yeah, Hoopa's dead, right? <laughs> Reshram and Zekrom just taking out parts of the world right now. Oh no. <laughs> Kirim Black. Oh! You hate to see it. Oh my god. This thing's gotta go. It's gotta go. You will suffer the pain of a thousand deaths by my sword. I hope this thing just insta gets gibbed. No one likes Keldeo. Suffer the pain of a thousand deaths by my sword. <laughs> Kirim Black's just like, nah, dog. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, uh, Reg Reggie's still still alive. Tapu Lele. I think in a, I was gonna say in a real scenario. Okay, well Groudon just comes in and says not nah all this. In a real scenario though, Tapu Lele versus Reggie versus Reggie still is like not much competition. Tapu Fini. Okay, the world's just melting. Oh no. All right, where's Kyogre? It's got to be Kyogre time, right? Kyogre was in the sea with Manaphy. Lunala, what are you? <laughs> the Legend of Zelda moon? Does Lunala control the moon? Oh, Reggie Gigas wasn't playing. What? Where are all these portals coming from? What's happening? Wait, the Necrozma complete form, the light that cracks the sky Pokemon? That's also very strong. I just thought of that. Bork! <laughs> no! Oh, it made it into a turkey or a chicken. Mewtwo's definitely a top contender right now, right? Oh, here comes. All right, Groudon's GG, bud. <laughs> this animation is immaculate, by the way. Like, actually immaculate. Okay, Lugia is still around. So we have Lugia, Mewtwo, Kyogre, Palkia. I haven't seen Dialga. There goes Rayquaza. This was like sort of one of my picks. But it's not Mega, so maybe not. Oh, it said... Oh, yeah, because Rayquaza just like stops weather shenanigans. So Rayquaza just said yeet to Lugia's hurricane that Lugia summoned. Deoxys? Deoxys can't stand much of a chance, right? In the long term. Victini's still alive? <laughs> what just killed it? Oh, Necrozma. Wait, Necrozma actually... Okay. Eight Pokemon remaining. Who are they? Oh, well, uh, Jirachi lasted a long time. I really love Jirachi, though. Okay, so Mewtwo's still alive. Necrozma's alive. I think Palkia's still alive. Rayquaza's still alive, right? Lunala's still alive. Oh, Necrozma just shot into it. Oh, no. This is... And then, of course, Arceus, right? If I was a bet, that was my bet. But... I don't know, dude. Necrozma Complete Form, or whatever it's called. It's so strong. Is it just these Pokemon left? Oh, Dialga and Palkia, they're... Don't stand a chance, dude. No, no, no. Is it light that burns the sky or cracks the sky? It's such a cool move. What's happening? I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot about Celebi! It's like too much power. The simulation is breaking. Oh my god. Who wins this? I can't keep up. Wait. Oh, we have two scenarios now. Oh, this is insane. 
There's a scenario where Arceus like summons the power of all the unknowns in his infinite arms and wins. And there's also a scenario where Necrozma wins. Oh. That was, I have like, I kind of have chills. I, 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 it's kind of lame to say, right? Like I kind of have chills watching this. I think it was really well done. It's also just very exciting, but like uh, the sort of finale between Necrozma and uh, Arceus is, I, I, one, I would like to see the explanation, which I think if this is a collab with Loxon and Naga, which I did not know going into this, which is very dope. Um, I'm sure he breaks it down because that's like a lot of what he does on his channel. Mythical Pokemon. That one can get a little unstable, but if you'd like an explanation, or at least hear me attempt to explain it, then click this link up here while I reboot. The yeah. That's awesome. Okay. All right. So a few things. One, uh, this animation was fantastic. I loved it. Two, if you would like to see me, there's, I think, two more in this series. There's one where it's like reacting to the Battle Royale for all the Pokemon. So just like all the Pokemon that aren't legendary. And then there's one for baby Pokemon. So if you'd like to see me reacting to those as well, let me know. I don't know if reacting to the explanations makes a lot of sense, but if you just think I should watch them. And let me know. Uh, but yeah, that dude, I love this animation. What's it, it's just like outro stuff, right? Like I'm assuming it's credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. One second. I need to gather my thoughts and outro properly here. Okay. So that was it. That was the video. I think it was really impressive. I love animations like that. And the fact that they took something and I'm sure analyzed it from a pretty like statistical and like lore standpoint within the games, I think it's fantastic. Just like animating that simulation. This question we've all had uh, is fantastic. So once again, if you want to see me reacting to the other two, let me know in the comments down below. Also, please remember the shirts will be on sale until the end of October. If you would like to grab one of these, I, I think you should do it. This design's really cool. It's perfect for spooky season. Uh, it'll be the second link in the description down below. Remember, Twitch and YouTube. Follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. Subscribe here on YouTube if you're not. Leave a like if you enjoyed this style of video and if you want to see more reaction videos. And also, just leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know your thoughts on the animation. We'll, we'll just have a conversation. And that is all I have to say. O other than I, you should follow me on Twitter. That's how you keep up with like when I'm doing things and when I post things. I, I typically tweet it out. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. It means the absolute most. My name is Vivid. I'm kind of down here and I have to leave. Okay, bye. Oh, you made it to the end of the video. That's dope. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like to see more from me and make it to the end of those videos, there will be a video here and a video here. This one is a video that I think is really good, and this is what YouTube recommends. So you should watch one of them. Okay, thanks.